Ladies and gentlemen, I've got nothing funny. I've got nothing punny to say. But if you do need a laugh, I'll be sure to check out Plymouth's highlights today. How the hell is Wayne Rooney a manager? Let's get into it. All right, guys, what's going on? My name is Ollie Ward. Welcome back to the Ollie Ward channel. Happy Sunday. Hope you've all recovered from yesterday's whatever game that was. Thrilling Six goal thriller at Ellen Road, and you're ready for the latest Legion United transfer news. As always, before we get into it, let's try and smash 250 likes. It's a Sunday, it's a rest day. All you got to do, all I'm asking you to do is just do that. Yeah, no hard work. Also, subscribe if you're new as well. Similar, just do that. It's free, helps this guy out as well. We're on the road to 17,000 subscribers. And also, today, I want you to comment just your final thoughts on yesterday. Like, where, where where are you right now? Are you in the camp of it's the first game of the season? Or were you like, oh my God, something's going wrong here? I'm kind of in the camp of first game of the season. Yes, we still need to bring faces in, but I'm sure we'll chat about that a little bit at the end. Without further ado, let's get into the latest Legion I transfer news. Um, so we're talking Rack Saki. I thought this was dead. I thought him coming to Leeds United was dead. But reports are suggesting that Leeds have bid 15 million for the Palace player. Palace have been very honest by saying they do not want to sell him permanently and uh, they want to loan him out with Hull City, Sheffield United and of course Leeds being interested. He was very close to joining Sheffield United and when you looked at the details it was 100% of his wages. They had a recall active thing so they can take him back whenever. I thought it was kind of a bit of a blessing in disguise we didn't go back in for him but apparently Leeds United went in permanently yesterday and it has been knocked back from Palace. I mean of course it has. They're, 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 they've been saying that they don't want to sell him permanently. And Legion Art have gone, here's 15 million, we'll take him permanently. And they've gone, no, because we don't want to do that. Uh, and it kind of looked like the road deal was done because of this. But I still think there's so much more going on with the road deal. I think a lot of people are speculating the fact we're going in for Raksaki, the Jonathan road deal is dead. I think a lot will happen next week. And uh, yeah, this Raksaki one to me, doesn't make too much sense. Like I said, he was close to joining Sheffield United, but it looks like that has a slowed down. He still probably will go out on loan, I'm sure, to a championship club. And Leeds going in permanently, I just don't know. And people are saying, you know, they've got 15 million to splash on him. Why are we not Why are we not giving 15 million to Norwich and just getting Jonathan Rowe? Let's talk Jonathan Rowe now. Obviously, Jonathan Rowe pulled out personally of the Norwich game. He decided to pull himself out. Leeds United and Marseille, obviously, are the front runners. Marseille probably being a little bit more in the lead because they actually have bid for Jonathan Rowe. Leeds still yet to, like I said, I believe this will all change next week. I personally believe Leeds will up their pursuit for the young English winger. Uh, there's Defo, um, something like I said, will happen next week. Norwich Gaffer not happy with Jonathan Rowe. Obviously, you wouldn't be if you're a manager. You just wouldn't be happy if your player just went, no, I'm not playing. Like I said, Leeds United need to step up this because he would be the perfect Somerville replacement. I think everyone I've spoke to, every fan, every content creator said, Jonathan Rowe, to, to go Somerville out, someone in, Jonathan Rowe is definitely that signing. Statistically, he looked brilliant last year. A lot of people are saying against us, he was awful. But, you know, I mean, against the 22 other teams he faced, he was quite good, ladies and gentlemen. So I believe Leeds United should still go for Jonathan Rowe, and I believe something will start going in next week. They haven't even put a first bid in yet, apparently, and uh, Marseille obviously have bid, but I believe that has been rejected in the region of around seven to eight million pounds. Norwich want anywhere between 10 and 15. You know that Raksaki money? Yeah? Put it on Jonathan Rowe. For goodness sake, 49ers. Next up, we're talking Bashir Humphreys um, and Leeds United and Burnley want the versatile defender. He will leave Chelsea. Chelsea do want a permanent sale. I don't know too much about him. Um, I believe he could play across the back sort of line. Actually a defender. Sort of a ball playing centre half, someone that Daniel Farker would like. Um, obviously, Cresswell's gone. Liam Cooper's on his way out as well. We do need some central uh, defending sort of backup. I still don't see Max Vober staying. I still think there's a late twist in the tail for that. But apparently, Farker and Vober have had a chat and he's ready to, to go again for next year or th this season. Sorry. I still don't believe it. I really don't. I don't know why. I, I don't. I can't see Max Weber sitting on the bench all season. I just I just can't see that happening. Uh, Leeds believe uh, they want a loan deal for Bashir Humphreys. Like I said, don't know too much about this bloke. I believe he went out on loan to someone last year. Go on, Ollie. Who is he? Where did he go last year? Swansea? That might be wrong. Swansea. I think they played in a white kit. Brilliant knowledge. Like, how have I got 16,500 subscribers? I don't even know what I'm talking about half the time. But yeah, that's from Fabrizio Romano. Leeds United are interested in the versatile defender. It's good to see. Uh, next up, we're talking a defender leaving Liam Cooper to Portsmouth. 
This is from Team Talk, so do take it with a pinch of salt. I always say this about Team Talk, but obviously Liam Cooper is pretty much a free agent right now. I think he's still kicking around the sort of changing room at, at Leeds, and he's obviously the ex-captain. He's not even captain now, so it does look like he will be leaving Leeds United. Apparently, there's been little to no talks between Cooper and the club, and Portsmouth are now interested in the veteran centre-half. Again, this from Team Talk. Again, take it with a pinch of salt, but most likely Liam Cooper will be leaving Leeds United. It's pretty much confirmed he'll be leaving. He hasn't got a squad number. He's pretty much a free agent. The contract's not happening. Uh, and last but not least, we're just going to have a little bit of a pompy chat. Where do you guys sit? Like I said, sort of the start of the video, where do you guys sit with how we played yesterday. I think oh, there's a lot of overreaction. You know, I'm in the camp of I don't want to see Bamford playing at all. Melier needs to be criticised. I'm not 100% sure with the, the tactics, really, sometimes with Daniel Farker, but also it's first game of the season. We looked very good, apart from individual errors. You know, we looked very good. We had 22 shots to their four. And I know we still conceded. And then you probably have to do look at Melier. You do have to look at the individual errors. We should have comfortably won that game, ladies and gentlemen. Don't let anyone tell you that Leeds United shouldn't have won that game because we definitely should have. Brendan Aronson at the end, you know, we hit the bar three times. Don't panic. Leeds United are fine. It's positives. It's a point on the board. It's the start of the season, okay? If that would have happened, you know, in February or whatever, fair enough. But every statistic shows that Leeds United should have won the game. We didn't. Nine times out of ten, you win them games. It's fine. Don't panic. Yes, we need signings. Yes, things need to change. Yes, I don't want to see certain players playing because they frustrate me. Bamford, sorry, mate. I just I just can't watch him. He, I really struggle to. I'd rather chuck Joffy on there now. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I think we'll be fine. We've got uh, Middlesbrough on Wednesday in the Cup. I'd like to see some changes. The only person you could probably put your hat on starting will be Ampadu. That bloke starts every game. Uh, and then we've got West Brom, who comfortably won 3-1 yesterday with a Josh Madger hat trick. So we'll have to see how that goes. Carlos versus Daniel Farker again. We'll have to see how that goes. But ladies and gentlemen, calm down. We're fine. We'll make a couple more signings. I believe I could still see... Max Vober leaving. That's the only one I can maybe see an outgoing. I think Nonto stays now. There could be a late call somewhere else. But you never know. Still a few weeks left of the January transfer. Not January transfer window. The summer transfer window. So anything could happen. But just to wrap up, a Raksaki bid has been knocked back from Palace. Leeds United have reportedly put in 15 million for him. Rowe missed out on yesterday's game. Leeds still yet to bid. I personally believe something will happen next week. I believe we could still get Jonathan Rowe. That's just my my thoughts. Uh, Bashir Humphreys to Leeds United. Leeds won him according to Fabrizio Romano. Liam Cooper to Portsmouth. And should we be panicking? Of course we shouldn't. We're one game in, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Ollie Ward. You guys have been excellent. Be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I will catch you, hopefully, in tomorrow's video. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Cheery. Oh. <laughs>